Hello and welcome. <coughs> Hello and welcome to Two Minute Design. I'm Dage, and today we're gonna understand Photoshop's layer masks. This is a picture of me when I'm not wearing my makeup, and I want the background to be solid red. So first, I need to erase the current background. You might think I should use the eraser tool, and I'll use it just to show you that it is a horrible idea. I'll select the eraser tool and start erasing the background. Now, let's say something happened and I erased my eye. Well, I can easily undo that, but what if I didn't notice the mistake and continued my work? I'll finish up the rest of the background, and when I put a red layer under this one, I reveal my secret power, the laser eye. Now, how do I fix that? I should either undo many, many times or redo everything from scratch. Don't you ever use the eraser tool. Use layer masks instead. So let's start again, but now select the layer and click add layer mask. But what is a layer mask in the first place? Take a look at this sophisticated three-dimensional representational representation about how layers are stacked in a virtual 3D space. This is our layer with a normal background. This is our red background layer. Now, layer masks allow you to change the transparency of a specific area in one layer. But how to tell the mask to make that area more transparent or less transparent? Simple. If you paint black on the mask, you'll be making the area you painted on transparent. But if you paint white, the area will be opaque. And that's why layer masks are black and white, including all the shades of gray. Let's do this in Photoshop. Create a red layer and put it under this layer. Select the layer mask, use the brush and paint black on the background to make it more transparent and reveal the red layer underneath. If I accidentally painted black on my eye, I can simply switch to white and make that area opaque again. And I can do that at any time I want. So remember this, use black to make the area transparent and use white to make it opaque. 